So today I want to speak on what the Lord lay in my spirit. It's titled The Branch. It's titled what? The Branch. The Branch. The Branch. Matthew chapter 3 from verse 10. Matthew chapter 3. We just take one verse there. We read verse 10. Matthew 3 verse 10. And now also, verse 10. And now also the ass is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Matthew chapter 7, verse 19. Matthew chapter 7, verse 19. Matthew 7, verse 19. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into where? Into the fire. Take note of the word good fruit. Take note of the word tree. These are very, very important parts of what we are going to be talking about this evening. But I want to declare, as the Lord have laid it in my spirit, over your life and over the life of somebody you are watching us, you are joining us online. It is my prayer that God himself will meet you wherever you are in the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare to your life, anything called failure will never bring you down. Anything called unfruitfulness, I cast them into the fire. The word that we just read now, he said any branch and any tree, any plant that is not bearing forth good fruit is what? Is cut down and thrown into the fire. I decree today, anything called failure is cut down. Anything called unfruitfulness is cut down. Anything called bitterness is cut down. Anything called sorrow is cut down. In your life, in the ministry, in your family, they are cut down and thrown into the fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is against the will of God concerning your life, I decree today they are destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. May every area of your life become too hot for the enemy to handle. Oh my God. May every area of your life, every department of your life become too hot for the, any evil to inhabit. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree now, every evil growth in your life, both physically and spiritually, I command them to be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. I command them to be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Many figures of speech were used in the Bible. In fact, Jesus was a master at using, at using figures of speech. And one of the figures of speech that Jesus used was actually taken. They were taken from agriculture. Praise the Lord. And we want to talk about one of them tonight or two of them. What is a branch? The branch of a tree is what provides the structural support both to the tree itself and to the flowers or to the fruits, to the leaves that the tree produces. I'll repeat, the branches of a tree provides the structural support to the tree itself to any flower that is coming out from that particular tree, from the fruit, the leaves that the tree produces. Now, without branches, the tree won't be able to produce anything. Praise the Lord, somebody. Are we together here? Without branches, the tree will not be able to produce anything. And there will be nowhere for them to grow. Nowhere, no way for them to grow. So, one of the way we see that a tree is growing and doing well is the branches. Are we together now? The branches 
begin to produce. You see flower coming out. You see leaves coming out. You see many things that are coming out from that tree. Now, branches are necessary not only for a tree to thrive, but also so that they can propagate. Are we together? So that they can do what? They can propagate. Now, additionally, the branches and leaves of a tree account for 20% of the total weight of any tree. Can I say that again? The branches of a tree account for about 20% of the total weight of what? Of that tree. Now, this means that branches actually do help in anchoring what? St the tree. To strengthen the tree. Praise the Lord, somebody. We are going somewhere. I'd like you to follow me because we are, we are digging into the word of God tonight. Now, tree, every particular tree that you see, tree branches, tends to grow branches around the bottom of the trunk. Follow me now. I'm hitting a, a, a particular chord here now. I'm, I want to hit a chord. Can I hit this chord? Uh -huh. I'm asking the, the instrumentalist how to hit this chord now. Look, look at it. Now, there are some branches that grow. Are we together? There are bra some branches that grow from the bottom of that tree, of the trunk of the tree. Now, they tend to counter the production of the tree. That is why the Bible used the word prune. Praise the Lord. Now, in our common English today, we say trim. Are we, are we together now? If you look at a particular tree, you see that there are some branches that are coming from the bottom of it. When any body is saddled with the responsibility to dress and to trim that particular tree, where is it going to start from? Those ones, the bottom. Those branches that grow out from unwanted areas. Are we together this, this evening? We are talking about the branch. Now you will begin to see later on when Jesus said I, in John chapter 15 verse 5 I am the vine. I am the tree. You are what? The branches. Praise the Lord somebody. You see why Jesus said that any branch in me that does not be able to the tree in itself should not be the one to produce the fruit. It is actually in, agri in agriculture. It is the branches that does what? That produces the fruit. Praise the Lord somebody. So Jesus Christ said that Mission House is a branch. Praise the Lord somebody. And we inside, we are what? A Mission House is a tree. And we inside, we are what? We are the branches. And he expects us to produce. So now, take it to Jesus, our Christian life. He said Jesus himself is the tree. We are the branches. We are the one expected to bear fruit. Praise the Lord somebody. I'm, I'm, I, are we making sense? We are the one that is supposed to bear fruit. Now, we must be careful. Branches must be careful, therefore. You don't want to grow in areas you should not come out, you shouldn't grow, grow out from. This is, this, this, is, this is a little bit, this is deep. Praise the Lord, somebody. Anytime a branch tend to bring out his head in areas where you are not supposed to shoot out, when the vine dresser comes, the trimming begins from there. Do you see the reason why when Jesus, when the Holy Ghost entered into your life, in your secret prayer, when messages are coming like this, he begins to go to the areas of your life where you are what? Where those, where you need trimming. Hallelujah. Areas of my life that I need pruning, trimming. And the word trimming is not actually a sweet word. It looks so sweet. <laughs> but it's not a sweet word because those days when my dad asked me to go dress, to go trim the flowers, my dad lost flowers so much. And our houses are always flowers there. So to go trim the flowers, so 
I begin, when I'm trimming the flower from the top, I trim from the side, I trim down. You know, when you look at some flowers or some trees, you will discover that the ground, you can sleep there. Are, are we together? You can sleep there. Why? Because there are no unwanted branches growing out. You have trimmed them. You have trimmed everything. I want you to lay, lay your hands on your chest. Say, my father, my father. Prune me. Trim out anything in my life that does not represent you well. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, so look at this. As they consume nutrients. I want to show you something here now. As they consume nutrients without necessarily contributing to the production of chlorophyll. Are you getting my point? Now, as they have limited access to direct sunlight, they are, they, they, they are, they are branches. Praise the Lord somebody. It is the tree that gets the sunlight. It is the tree that receives that, that, the whole stuff. So it is the tree that supplies. Praise the Lord somebody. Now, for this reason, it is necessary to trim them. The ones that grow from the trunk must be trimmed. They have to be removed because one, if they don't receive so much sunlight, it will get to a point they become the weakest part of the tree. Are we together now? So before you know what is happening, look, things don't just happen. Every tree you see, every branch of the tree it is not every branch that is weak. Oh, Jesus, are we together now? It is not every branch that is weak. Look at the body of Christ. It is not every branch that is weak. Any branch that is weak, Jesus said, he is going to do what? He will heal it. He will trim it. He will cut, he will cut it out. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. This is very, very important. Now, Jesus uses the analogy of the, of the relationship of the vine and the branches to describe his relationship with his disciples. And by extension, the relationship he will have with us. The relationship God has with us. Praise the Lord, somebody. John chapter 15, verse 5 again. I am the vine. And What? You are the branches. He that abideth in me. Oh, we are going to get to this point. And I in him. The same bringeth forth what? Much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Now, the branches derive their very existence. And ability to produce fruit from the vine. Are we together here? The branches, we are talking about the branch. The branches derives their very existence and ability to produce fruit from the vine. Do you see why Jesus now said, without me you can do nothing? The people of the world, without Jesus... They function, they do things. Are we together now? They function, they do things. But Jesus said, for me and you, without him, we can do nothing. It means, therefore, we are not supposed to function without the tree. He is divine. We are the branches. We are the branches. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Detached, listen to this, detached the branches, I mean, detached from the tree the branches will cease to live or to produce. Abby, let me tell you something. Your prayer life is not weak for nothing. <laughs> I told you today we are digging into the world. We are engaging the three P. Today is power. And you cannot en enter into the power dimension of God without the word of God. Oh, outside of the word of God, you cannot function in power. So, anywhere you, when you hear Mission House, the TDP, when you hear power, it is the word we are talking about. Tomorrow, we are going to engage the second P, prayer. And then on Sunday, oh, oh hallelujah, praise the Lord somebody. And today, I'm addressing this issue called the branch. The branch. 
the branch. Now, Mission House is doing very well. As Mission House was doing very well, and we are still doing very well in Jesus' name. Now, then we opened two branches in Nigeria at that time. When we opened those two branches, one of them, the both branches started growing. It got to a point. One of them began to dr draw his, the pastor, began to draw his messages not from what I believe in, what Mission House believe. Listen, any organization you enter, if you cannot function according to the blueprint of the man of God there, you will counter, you will, you will counter what is going on there. Your spirit must align. Are you getting my... Your spirit must align. That's why when I brought the, the prayer show out, I said prayer should come from there. It should come from there. We can't have a prayer book and then you won't take one prayer point from there. It doesn't matter whether you like the color. We are not saying you should look at the color. Pray the prayer that are inside. Praise the Lord somebody. How can you be a member of Mission House and then you are not going reading through our devotional? Are you getting what I'm saying? The messages of your senior pastor should be your message. Oh, you didn't get what I'm talking about. It should be your delight. It should be your delight, your love. Praise the Lord, somebody. Have you seen a child who goes out? I have, myself, I'm an example. There's no way I will go. Those days with, when I, I wasn't married, oh, I will miss my mother's food. Your children, even to today, those children who are married, they will sit there and say, ah, that's your food, mommy. Mom, that's food, that food. I miss that soup. And somebody is looking at me and smiling and shaking head and I say, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. It doesn't matter anywhere I go and I eat. If I come home, if I have not eaten my wife, my wife food, I'm not okay. Praise the Lord, somebody. Why, why am I bringing all these things out? I'm telling you that the branches cannot survive without the tree. Jesus said, I am the tree, I am the vine. You Myself, he said, we are the branches. Praise the Lord, somebody. We are the branches. Your vision must not be separate from the vision of your organization. Oh, you didn't get that one. Did you get what I just said? It must not be different. It must be, it must align. You must be going to the same direction. You must be going to the same way. Praise the Lord, somebody. So, now look at this. Apart from Christ... An individual has neither spiritual life nor fruit. No spiritual life, no fruit without Christ. Praise the Lord, somebody. Now, second thing I want us to look at here is that what does the Bible mean by fruit? Because we'll come back to branches. But what does the Bible mean by fruit? Let's look at the fruit a little bit. A fruit is the major identifying feature of any tree. It is the life of a branch. I told you we opened two branches and a pastor, one of the pastors began to, he was listening to men of God, or great men of God. Look, look at me now. He was, he was not doing something bad. It's not bad to hear other great men of God. Ah, he was listening to great men of God. Wonderful, great, wonderful. But as he was listening to them, he forgot the vision of where he was. Or where he is. Meanwhile, the other one, <laughs> he was following what we were doing. He was following, he was following. His branch was growing. But this one, it was not focused because a double-minded man is what? He's unstable in all of his ways. He was not focused. And that was why he was all here and the, and the thing was not growing. Praise the Lord, somebody. So it will show when you are not connected to the tree, it will show. The branch will not be strong. The branch will not have stamina. The fruit will not be solid. Praise the Lord, somebody. Now, a fruit multiplies. True of us. A fruit does what? Multiply. That is why every fruit has a seed inside. Every fruit. Every fruit has a seed inside. Wherever you are, as you are watching us, and as you are here listening to me now, I pray for you in the name of Jesus, you will multiply. You will multiply in the name of Jesus. You will multiply the Christian character. You will multiply the Christian behavior. You will multiply the lifestyle of the tree. 
of the vine in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the vine. My father is the husband man. Ah, yeah, I like that. Oh, we we'll don't get it. My father is the, is the husband man. I love that. Let's hold on there first. A fruit has the capacity to reproduce. A fruit has what? The capacity to reproduce. A fruit has the capacity to be sweet. <laughs> Hello? A fruit. Remember we have established that trees don't produce fruit. It is branches that produce what? The fruit. Have we established that now? Uh-huh. It's settled. It's a, it's a basic knowledge in agriculture, isn't it? Now, now, a fruit has the capacity to be sweet. But, for, don't forget it, a fruit also has the capacity to be bitter, to be bad. What makes a fruit from the same branch to be sweet and some fruit to be bad? We are getting there. Why? Will Jesus address this, this topic like this? He said, any branch in me that produce not good fruit. Why did he say some branches? It suggests therefore that there are some branches in him. Oh, Jesus. Are we together this evening? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There are some branches. They belong to Jesus, but they are producing bad fruit. He said, any branch that is in him produces what? Good fruit. Let's go. I will get, I will get there very soon. We will get there very soon. Now, a fruit is the representative of the tree. Sorry. A fruit is the represent of the tree and not of itself. True of us. <laughs> so, when you see a fruit, you identify, say, this fruit belongs to, so it does not represent itself. Oh, fruit. There is no fruit that hangs in the air. A fruit has a base, has a foundation, has a root, has a tree that is attached, has a branch is attached to, and has a tree that the branch attached to. A fruit also has the potential to produce bad fruit. Now, the life of everything about any fruit is gotten from the branch. I'm, com I'm coming somewhere. Remember, I have separated the tree from the branch and the branch from the fruit. And I'm telling you now, laying this foundation now, that that branch produces the fruit. But Jesus made us know that the branch can produce good and the branch can produce bad. Are we in order? Do you know what I mean when I say, are we in order? Okay. <laughs> Now, look at the other thing. Now, a branch also is attached to the tree. Oh, Jesus. But in this branch, the mango that came out from this mango tree is not good on that branch. And from the same branch, there is another mango on that same branch that is good. How come this branch is producing both good and bad? Have you ever wondered, how come it's attached to the same tree, but it's producing good and producing bad? We'll get there. Now, Jesus said that a fruit can produce a good fruit. I mean, a tree can produce good fruit, and it can also produce bad fruit. Now, let, let's, 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 why is this so? Because of the branch. The problem is not with the tree. Are we together here now? Hello, ma. Hello, sir. The problem is not with the tree. The problem, I, 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 I can advocate for the fruit. Even though the fruit is so bad. But I can advocate for the fruit. The problem is not with the fruit. Because the fruit does not produce itself. The fruit is an offshoot from a branch. Praise the Lord, somebody. Now, now the branch has a problem. A weak branch will produce weak things. Oh. It was Bishop David Oyedipo that said, a broken branch will keep breaking. Because no branch breaks without 
being weak first. Oh, Jesus. We are entering into the fall now. The fact that you see trees, branches, I mean leaves falling down, and some branches getting dry, that does not mean that there is no life in the tree. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There is life in the tree. But there are conditions, environmental conditions. Oh, Jesus, help me here now. There are environmental conditions that has impacted the branch and have stopped the production. I've stopped freshness. Can I pray for someone under the sound of my voice? In the name that is above every name. Every environmental situation that have stunted your growth, that have stunted things moving in your life, today I stop their oppression over your life. I stop their influence over your life. I stop their influence over your life. In the name of Jesus. The problem is not with the fruit. The problem is not with the tree. The problem is with the branch. It's with the branch. What kind of fruits are you bearing? Let's bring it home a little bit. What kind of fruits am I bearing? As a child of God. In Galatians chapter 5, he said that the fruit of the spirit is manifest, which is the so he, there are there are fruit of the spirit and there are fruit of the what flesh. Are you bearing good fruits or bad fruits? Praise the Lord, somebody. Oh. Is your fruit abiding? Or your fruit is breaking off. It's falling down. Any fruit you have best before it's time cannot be sweet. In fact, we call it acidic. It is, it's full of acid. Do you know that if you leave that same fruit up there on that branch and allow that fruit to mature? Oh, Jesus. Can I say something here? If you allow that fruit to remain on that branch and that fruit endures and that fruit draws more. The, the, the fruit allows, the, as the branch is drawing from the tree, the fruit is drawing from the branch. Listen to me, brothers and sisters here. The fruit, the same fruit that if you plucked, if you had plucked it seven months ago, it would be very acidic. That fruit will become sweet. It will even attract the birds of the air. Hallelujah. Is your fruit remaining? It is not just for us to bear fruit. We have read in scripture that it's not just to bear fruit, but it is for our fruit to what abide and for our fruit to remain. Praise the Lord, somebody. Now, if you win, <coughs> can I say this? If you win a soul to the kingdom of God, and the soul you want to Christ backslide and go back to the world. And you say, well, the person was not destined to go to heaven. No. You have, that soul was won, but that soul you won did not remain. Praise the Lord somebody. That is why, no matter how your, the person you, you brought to the church or you brought to Christ is, no matter how, as the person keep growing, the, the more you keep interceding and praying for the person. Praise the Lord somebody. I told you people the story of a, a sister I had an encounter with, began to groom her in the Lord, led her to Christ. She was getting stronger and stronger in the things of God. At some point, she got admission into the higher institution, to the university, and she, she became something else. And I was told that she has went in, she went into prostitution and all that. She, she went so bad. This was a lady we were going for programs together. She will speak in tongue, heavy duty tongues. Ah, tongues with capital letter. When she lay hands on people, people crash under the anointing. She was loaded. She was blessed. But at this point, she has fallen away. Did I stop praying for her? No, I never stopped praying. And there is one grace God gave to me. It's not my ability. It's grace that God gave to me. I don't stop praying for anybody. Hey, never. <laughs> I never stop praying for people. That's how I prayed my father and my mother into church. Oh, I never stop praying for anybody. 
there is no member of my family that is not a Christian. I prayed all of them into Jesus. All of them. When I understood that I am a branch, and if I keep on being connected to the tree, I will produce fruits. And I have to be careful what I, the kind of fruit I produce because there is the tendency for the same branch to produce a good fruit and a bad fruit. May your branch not produce a negative fruit. And the Bible said it is that we can, our fruit can abide, our fruit can remain, and our fruit can, we can bear much fruit. Look at the three things. Abiding fruit, remaining fruit, and much fruit. Praise the Lord, somebody. Can I ask a question here? I want to start rounding up. What kind of branch are you? You know, I've asked the question. What kind of fruit are we bearing? Are our fruits abiding, remaining, and producing more? Are they much? This is what God is asking from us today. As a Christian, as a child of God, as a pastor, as a minister, as an apostle, as a prophet, are you producing fruit? Are your fruit remaining? Are your fruit abiding? Are your fruit mush? Are you still passionate about mush fruit? Mush fruit? Mush fruit? The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Now, what kind of a branch am I? Am I a weak branch or a strong branch? I have always said, when weak branches are close together, they break together. Oh, Jesus, you didn't get me there now. But when a branch is weak, and under the branch is a strong branch, <laughs> the strong branch helps the weak branch to stay up. Have you seen this thing from trees? What I'm telling you, practically, if you just go outside there, you will see it. You will see that the branch on top is weak, oh. But he's now resting <laughs> on a strong branch. And he, because he's resting on a strong branch, he remains up. He remains. Just because he's resting on a strong branch. I pray in the, in the most vulnerable moments of your life, may God bring around you strong branches. Hey! Strong men, strong women, strong church members, strong ministers who will help you to stay up. Who will help you to stay relevant in the name of Jesus Christ? The tree is known by its fruits, but it is the branches that produces the fruits. Can I round up with this? How to be a healthy branch? I'll just mention, I think, about four things. How do I make the four or five things? How do I? maintain or how do I become a healthy branch? How to be a healthy branch? Number one, get truly connected to your tree. What did I say? Get truly connected to your tree. Sir, get truly connected to your tree. Ma, Get truly connected to your... Can you look at me now? The truth is this. If I'm not connected to this woman of God, oh, I'm not just connected now. Truly. Because we have connection and we have true connection. The, it, look, it is not every of your friend that is a friend. It is not everybody around you that really... You know, they may like you, but their like is... Can get, there are some times when things happen. You know the difference between like and love. Praise the Lord, somebody. You will know. You will just know. My father can still slap me at this age. And I, I, and, and I will still say yes, sir. Are you getting my point here? You, are, you never outgrow your tree. Oh, Jesus, you didn't catch that one. Did you catch it? You never outgrow your tree. You are a branch. You ne as a branch, as a fruit, you never brag over your branch because your branch gave you life. You came out from your branch. You must understand, oh, everything God brought into this life has a message to teach human, human beings, to teach mankind. Everything, everything, everything 
Do you know my immediate elder sister? I call her mommy. It's not because, uh, oh, she's my sister. Now. It is because I understand some things in the realm of the spirit. There were some things she did for me when I was a baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get truly connected. Not fake connection. Not fair weather connection. Not connection because things are rosy. No. Not connection because I am massaging your ego. No, 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 be truly connected. That is why never marry somebody that cannot tell you the truth. Hello? Uh, that if you marry somebody that, anybody that cannot tell you the truth is a girlfriend, is a boyfriend. But somebody that will tell you, <laughs> this guy is laughing. <laughs> Hello? Is the truth. Is a boyfriend or girlfriend. But they, and you know, and those are the kind of people people don't like. You need someone that will tell you. The day your wife tells you the truth, you will not eat food that day. You will not talk to her. You will turn to another side of the bed. Hey! Because he told you that what you, you are trying to do is wrong. And deep down inside of you, you know it's wrong. But there is something that is telling you, no, I am the fruit. I am the one that is producing the fruit. The tree is just there. I am the one producing the fruit. This fruit is, fruit too is bragging too. Fruit too is bragging. I am the sweet. I am the sweet part of this tree. I am the, the branch. The branch is saying, what do you mean? The fruit is saying, I am the one that is sweet here. Come on. And without the tree, the branch has no life. The fruit has no, be, has no bearing. Jesus said, I am the vine. My father still addressed me. Jesus. You not get what I talk. Jesus said, I am the vine. The true vine. He said, my father, my father. You see, they dress me. You see, they prune me. You see, they arrange me. You see, they put me in order. Hello? Jesus said, and now I am saying, any branch in me. You see? Because he submitted to father. To the pruning of the father. To the trimming of the father. To the hewing of the father. Now he said, any branch in me too. Aha, uh -huh. you see where he's drawing his authority from. Because he has submitted to authority. He is now also in a position of authority. You cannot command what you have not commanded. Number two, draw relevance from your tree. Draw what? Relevance from your tree. Can I tell you something? <laughs> Do you know that when Jesus came into this world, his relevance was traceable to the vine dresser, his father. Relevance, relevance, relevance. Do you know how I know children that are sons? I have sons and daughters in the ministry. My wife knows, my parents, they are all over the place. Not Many of them are not in mission house. Many are in mission house all over the place. Do you know how I get to understand? If you are somebody that is drawing from me, at some point, you begin to do things the way I do things. You'll be, some, some of your spiritual sharpness will begin to come. Some, of, some things will be... When you are talking sometimes, you will see me, you will hear me shout, yes. You see, I'm talking now. Some people are there, mm. Mm. Although mm, sometimes you will be ministering, I will be the one that ah, that one enter, that one enter. You, e, e, ja, 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 ja. are you getting what? I'm, why? Because iron sharpened iron. The tree of the mango is never surprised as the when the branch produce fruit. Hey? Where mango come from? <laughs> the tree is never. We, have you seen guava or apple tree? Immediately the branch produce apple. <laughs> is that me? <laughs> it's not surprise. It's not surprise because he knows the capacity he carries as a tree, and he knows that the any branch that is connected to him, truly connected to him, we draw relevance from him. Praise the Lord, somebody. Number three, believe in your tree. Believe in your tree. Oh yes, believe in your tree. Your belief in your tree is what enables you to, it gives you confidence. Oh, yes. There is a way your belief gives you confidence and boldness. Praise the Lord, somebody. It gives you confidence and boldness. 
<laughs> Number four, remain connected to the tree. The first one I said, get truly connected. Number four, now I said, remain connected. Because Jesus said, if not just to bear fruit, he says, so that, if, but our fruit should what? Remain. Remain as a branch, as a fruit, remain connected to the tree. And finally, number five, fulfill your role in the tree. Fulfill your role. Please, don't, as a branch, the day I see a guava branch on a mango tree, there is problem. An enemy has done this. <laughs> no, now you will run. BBC will carry that kind of thing. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, I'm telling you, it, it will be everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. It, it, in, in in agriculture, that is called engrafting. It's called engrafting, and it cannot function normally. It is not normal. It is artificial. Praise the Lord, somebody. Let it not be that you are the branch that will grow in unwanted places in Jesus' name. May you not be the branch that will grow in unwanted places. Fulfill your role in the tree. If you are a branch, fulfill the role of a branch. If you are a, a fruit, sweetness, and maybe your sweetness in that church, your sweetness in the kingdom of God is to stand by the door and be smiling to people who are coming in. Do that. That is your role. Maybe your role is to just make sure things work fine. Organizing, doing things well. Continue what you are doing. Listen, let me tell you something. The tree has a reward. The branches has their reward. The fruit has their reward. The reward of the tree is not because it's a tree. The reward of the branch is not because I'm the branch, no. The reward of the fruit is not, oh, I am the fruit. That is why I should be rewarded like this, no. You are rewarded because you are performing your role in the whole agenda, in the whole process. Praise the Lord, somebody. A fruit can never get angry and detach yourself. When you detach yourself from the branch, you are no longer going to be drawing that vitamin, that vitality that you need. When you detach yourself as a branch from the tree, you are no longer going to enjoy that nutrient that you are getting. Praise the Lord somebody. Finally, I will round up with the scripture. In John chapter 15, I will read from verse 1 to 8 and then we will begin to just pray. John chapter 15, verse 1 to 8. I am the true vine, and my father is the keeper of the vineyard. This is deep. I don't want to go again too deep into that. He's the keeper of the vineyard. So he is always in the vineyard. He's looking. Look, the God we serve. When we say rapture will happen, second coming will come. Oh, Jesus is coming back again. Listen, your church does not belong to your pastor. Your pastor is opportune to be the head of the church now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You, if you understand what I'm talking about, say, I hear you. I hear you. Uh -huh. you didn't say it well. Say, I hear, you. I hear you. The keeper of the vineyard is, is, is always in the vineyard. He's looking. He's looking at the branches. He's looking at the vine itself. And he's looking at the fruit. May God find us worthy. Ah, may God find us worthy of producing good fruits. Fruit that will remain. Fruit that will be mush. May we be a fruitful branch. May we be a fruitful branch. May we be a fruitful vine in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at verse 2. He cut off every branch in me that bears no fruit. So I am not the one cutting them off. You didn't get that one. <laughs> you didn't get that one. In the translation I'm reading it from, he said he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. And every branch that does not bear fruit, he prunes to make it even more fruitful. Every one that, the one that bears fruit, he prunes them to become even more what? Fruitful. Now look at verse 3. You are already clean because of the word I am speaking to you now. Remain in me. Hallelujah. Remain in me. 
and I will remain in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine, neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and it withers. Such branches are gathered up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my word remain in you, then you can ask what you wish and it will be done for you. You see where this scripture stems from. You see where it's coming from. So people are complaining of unanswered prayers. You see where this scripture is coming from. This is to my father's glory. Take note of this. The vine does not even take glory for this. This is to my father's glory. You need to understand what you are doing. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit. Not because you want number. <laughs> not because you want to be the biggest church in town. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. It's not bad to, to want number. It's not bad to be. But this is not the father's agenda. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit. Proving yourselves to be my disciples. Bow down your heads. Jesus, I'd like you to pray. Help me, Lord, to be a good branch, to bear good fruits in the name of Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. I want to bear good fruits. I want to be a good branch. I don't want to be a weak branch. I want to be a good branch. I want to be a strong branch in the mighty name of Jesus.